So this is an alternate universe in which I am unfazed by the men who do not love me. When the businessman shoulder checks me in the airport, I do not apologize. Instead, I write him an elegy on the back of a receipt and tuck it in his hand as I pass through the first class cabin. Like a bee, he will die after stinging me. I am 24 and have never cried. Once, a boy told me he doesn't believe in labels, so I embroidered the word chauvinist on the back of his favorite coat. A boy said he liked my hair the other way, so I shaved my head instead of my pussy. While the boy isn't calling back, I learned carpentry, build a desk, write a book at the desk. I taught myself to come from counting ceiling tiles. The boy says he prefers blondes and I steam clean his clothes with bleach. The boy says I am not marriage material and I put gravel in his pepper grinder. The boy says period sex is disgusting and I slaughter a goat in his living room. The boy does not ask if he can choke me, so I pretend to die while he's doing it. My mother says this is not the meaning of unfazed. When the boy says I curse too much to be pretty and I tattoo cunt on my inner lip, my mother calls this being very faced. <laughs> Olivia. But left over from the other universe are hours and hours of waiting for him to kiss me and here, they are just hours. Here, they are a bike ride across Long Island in June. Here, there are a novel read in one sitting. Here, there are arguments about God or a full night's sleep. Here, I hand an hour to the woman crying outside of the bar. Leave one on my best friend's front porch. Send my mother two in the mail. I do not slice his tires. I do not burn the photos. I do not write the letter. I do not beg. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not hold my breath while he finishes. The man tells me he does not love me and he does not love me. The man tells me who he is, and I listen. I have so much beautiful time. Thank you. So um, this is my last poem.